Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to have an object interact with your smoke in Maya 2018 so let's get started. Okay so this is basically what we will be creating it's just an object that's interacting with some smoke or some gas in Maya 2018. Now you can follow along if you're using uh, previous versions of Maya and um, let's go to file new scene and I don't want to save that and uh, make sure that you're on the FX panel so you're on the side just click on this drop down and set it to FX and uh, then we're going to go to fluids and we're going to click on 3D container and this will basically create our fluid container I'm just going to press W and move it up so it's above the grid doesn't really matter and uh, then I'm going to move my emitter this little dot in the center I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move it down to the bottom somewhere around there all right and then I'm going to select my fluid emitter, this little box on the side, and I'm going to increase the base resolution to around, let's make it 80, and that's just going to give us a higher resolution simulation. So now if we press play, it's going to start simulating our smoke or our gas, and in this tutorial, I'm not really going to go into the settings to change the look of your smoke. I've got a separate tutorial on that, which I will link below in the description. But in this one, we're just going to focus on how to make your smoke interact with different objects in your scene. Right, so I'm just going to let this run through. Okay, so that's done. And now we've got a very basic smoke simulation. And let's go to our poly modeling tab. And I'm going to create a sphere. And let's move that up to around here. And I'm going to move it over to the side. And then what I want to do, I want to animate that sphere. So it actually goes across the scene a few times. So it's interacting with the smoke. So let's go to, if I just play this back again, and I just want to see which frame we need to start animating so it actually goes through the smoke. So at around frame 65, it should be in the center somewhere. So I'm just going to go back to frame 60, and then with my sphere selected, I'm going to go to the P sphere 1 settings, and then I'm going to right click on translate, and I'm going to click on set key to set a keyframe on that position. And then I'm going to go to frame 70 and I'm going to move the sphere over to this side. And then I'm going to right click on translate again and set a key. And then let's go to 80 and let's move it back this way. Right click on translate, set key, go to frame 90, move the sphere this side again and right click on translate, set key. I'm basically just setting keyframes um, on those specific frames. And let's go to 100, move it this way again, right click translate, set a key. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my beginning, and if I play through this, you will see that the sphere is moving through the smoke, but it's not interacting with the smoke at all. So basically, we need to tell the smoke that this object will be colliding with it, so I'm going to stop that. So basically, I'm going to select my fluid container, this box, and then I'm going to hold in shift and then click on the sphere, and then I'm going to go to fluids, and we are going to click on make collide. All right, now I'm going to go back to the first frame, and I'm going to play through this. Alright, and you can see the sphere is moving, and there you can see it's actually interacting with our smoke. It's going back, it's still interacting. And uh, yeah, so obviously in this tutorial, I'm not going to go into the look of your smoke, how to actually change the look of it. I just wanted to show you guys how to make an object interact with your smoke. And that's how easy it is to have an object interact with your smoke simulation in Maya. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Click on that thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials. I upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, click on that subscribe button. You'll get notified. It also helps me a lot. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.